Hey folks, it's Ken Pulse here again with the Data Monkey. And in this episode of Monkey Shorts, I want to go through and show you a quick tip which might help you if you are in the habit of loading a Power Query to an Excel worksheet and then summarizing with a pivot table and being a driven a little bit crazy by the fact that when you actually hit data refresh all, things don't refresh all with one click. You got to do it again. So let me show you what the problem actually is here. So the first thing I'm going to call it is on the left hand side here, I have my transactions query, which I've used Power Query to combine all of the files in this monkey shorts source files folder. I've then summarized it with a pivot table. And as you can see inside here, I've got two file names, but I actually have three files inside the folder. So we've obviously added a new file and we need to refresh the data. No big deal, right? We're just going to go to data and we're going to hit refresh all. We can see the Power Query spins and finishes, but the pivot table doesn't change. So we're going to do it again. And at this point, the pivot table happily updates. Now, the challenge here is that what's happening is the Power Query chain actually is set up to refresh pivot tables first and then Power Queries second. And that's because pivot tables have been around a lot longer. This is kind of an unfortunate thing. Nobody likes it, but it's just kind of the way it's been. For reference, if you load your data into the data model and then summarize that with a power pivot pivot table, um, you don't actually have this issue because that refreshes right the first time. But let me show you that all is not lost even if you are using a standard pivot table. There's a quick little trick you can apply to your query, not to the pivot table, to the actual query itself. So if we go to transactions, right click on it and choose properties, I'm gonna uncheck this enable background refresh setting. Okay, so this is the actual property of the query itself. And I'm going to say OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip back to that folder. So here it is, and I'm going to grab the July to September file, and I'm just going to delete it. Okay, we're going to get rid of it. So in theory, when we come back here, what we really want to see is when we go to data refresh all, we just want these rows to drop out of the pivot table, because I don't really care about the table. I'm not really looking at that anyway, right? So here we go, refresh all. And boom, just like that. Okay, so remember that if you want to get this to work, you need to disable the background refresh on your query connection. Once you've got that done, at that point, any refreshes, boom, the pivot table is gonna go in sync with the query without really slowing you down. So hopefully you found that tip a little bit useful here. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.